Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm filming my January favourites. Now I really, really, really wanted to get this video up on the last day of January, but I wasn't the best with my YouTube schedule towards the end of the month. I kind of missed a few videos, but February is a new month and I'm hoping to post three videos a week, Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays at 5 p.m. That's my hope. If I can get videos filmed, edited and scheduled on the weekend, then we have no problem. So I am obviously gonna be going through my favorites. Now I love doing these videos because it means that I can literally like go through all my favorite products and just talk about things that I like. And I like to do that because it means I'm gonna be talking positively. So I've literally just done my makeup. I did glitter on my eyes. So I suppose my first general favorite is doing my makeup. I'm obsessed with doing my makeup. I love it. I haven't been doing it as much like over the past couple of months and that's because I've been so busy like especially in January I've been so busy and I've just taken on quite a lot of things and it's because I love being busy like I want to do things all the time. I want to get everything done and have my schedule and I just love being busy. So I sometimes go out without makeup on. I sometimes have days without makeup on, but when I do do my makeup, I'm looking forward to it. So yeah, um, you might think that I've got a bit much on, but I think it's because, you know, you get a little bit like carried away. I get a little bit carried away when I'm just at home. So I just sort of play with different things. But when I'm out and about, I try and tone down the makeup a little bit. But anyway, I'm gonna start off with my first category, which is skincare. So talking about skincare, I am actually gonna be bringing out my own small kind of little skincare range of products. I am gonna kind of have a product that I bring out and then I'm gonna bring out another one, say a few weeks after or a month after and then another one. So it's not gonna be all in one go, I bring out these products, it's gonna be like one after the other so that I can kind of focus on them and make sure that I get them right and everything like that. So it's just gonna be one launches, then another one, but you can still obviously purchase the first one that I launched, if you know what I mean. So if you're interested in that, then go and follow my skincare Facebook group, which is down in the description. It always is, and also my skincare Instagram as well, because that's where you see like behind the scenes of product packaging, labels, the process, everything like that. But my skincare favorites this month so far is actually um, all from the body shop and that is gonna be no surprise to you because obviously I used to sell products for the body shop. I did stop, but that doesn't mean that I stopped loving the products. So it is actually quite funny because all three of these are face masks. My previous video that I posted was reviewing a face mask. So I do sound like I'm a little bit addicted to face masks, but there is no but. I just am. Okay, so the first one is this. This is the Body Shop Hemp Overnight Nourishing Rescue Mask. This is a product that they launched at the beginning of the month. Probably, I think it was the 1st of January. Yeah, I think it was the 1st of January. I did a whole video on new launches at the Body Shop. You can scroll back at my channel if you wanna go and watch that. It did actually do quite good for views, so people did quite like that one. But this is such a good face mask if you suffer from dry skin. I personally don't, but I've noticed that in the winter my skin is like a lot more drier than it would normally be and it's not as oily as it usually is because obviously my skin is oily. I do have oily skin. But this, honestly, like you literally just put it on. I leave it on for an hour. It does say, you know, it's meant to be like an overnight mask, but I don't put it on overnight because I don't really like to have face masks on overnight because the pillow gets messy. Like how can you keep this on? It's green and I've got white pillows. Like that is just not a good idea. So don't do it. <laughs> but if you leave it on for an hour, it's great and my skin feels so soft. So love that. Another one that I wanted to mention, just a, you know, a cheeky little mention is the Tea Tree Clay Face Mask. I love a good clay face mask and they always work really, really well. You apply it to your face, it sets, and then you wash it off. This one is great for spots. As you can see, it's green. And when you apply it, it literally just glides onto the skin. Like, it's definitely up there with one of my favourite masks. And I have actually said that before. So it is definitely worth kind of looking into or giving a go, especially if you do suffer from some spots. I know that somebody that bought this off me said it actually cleared their spots up. So that is great to hear. And finally, this is another product. This is tiny, it's so cute. This is a mini mask. So this is one of the launches that they launched at the beginning of the month. It is a mini mask and this is the British Rose Fresh Plumping Mask. This is amazing, like honestly, 
this is so good like you can't exactly see it it is quite clear so it's like a clear consistency when you put it on your skin my skin is so kind of it feels like it's refreshing it's like tingling but it's in a nice way it's so 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 nice and i actually think i will be repurchasing this um little guy because you don't get that many uses in it but it i would say i get about six uses out of this but i do really really love that and i would recommend it if you want to try something new so that's it for skincare. I'm now going to move on to makeup. Right, we do have quite a lot here. So I do apologise. <laughs> but like I said, I do love makeup. Number one, we should probably start chronologically. The first one is this sponge here. Now it doesn't look the cleanest and it does need a clean. I definitely have to clean it. Um, I actually clean my sponges in the washing machine. Like that is a really good idea. What I do is I like scrub it under the tap with a little bit of fairy liquid and just... You know scrub away the foundation put it in the washing machine with a towel so not everything else just like a towel on its own and when it comes out it's so soft and so like fluffy and nice like i love it so i do that with both of them but this is a sponge from in stylish i think that's what they're called yeah this is like the box it comes in that's what it looks like now they actually contacted me and wanted to do a sponsored tiktok video i don't actually post like that many tiktok videos um, I only ever did it because I was getting paid for them, so it's not really my thing. But yeah, they wanted to do a sponsored TikTok video, so I was like, yeah, sure. And then when I got it, I loved it, it's so good. Like in comparison to the Real Technique sponge, um, obviously this one's got, you know been used today, so it's kind of like spongy, and this one needs to be wet and it will grow in size, but it is a really really good sponge i would say it's even softer than the real technique sponge and it does work really well like it's got all the angles that you can use so like different areas of your face you can like really get in there and use it so i do really love this and i just had to say it in this video even though this video is not sponsored my next favorite is a primer so this is the body shop vitamin c skin reviver i i'm gonna say that this is the best primer that i've ever used now it is actually meant to be aimed at skin carry type products but i wanted to put it in like the makeup category because i use it as a primer it fills in your pores and it mattifies everything down i have oily skin i need that but it also makes your skin really soft so i personally think this is an excellent product it's also got a little bit of a sparkle to it so it does make your skin look quite glowy as well um i think i'm gonna be repurchasing this but i don't know because it is quite expensive but i think i still want it so yeah i probably will have to I also have another favourite, which is a foundation. And I'm so excited to be talking about this because I've been using the same foundation over and over and over again for the past year. I was addicted to the Maybelline Superstate 24 Hour Foundation. The coverage of that is amazing. It is an amazing foundation and it's great, but it can be a little bit cakey. But overall, I do really love it. This one was five pounds something. It is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation and mine's in the mine's in a shade soft beige um but anyway i saw this and i was like okay it's five pounds something it's a foundation give it a try i really really love this it's definitely not full coverage i would say it's medium coverage but you can definitely build it up to full coverage which is what i do the applicator looks like that so it's like a piece of i don't know it's really confusing and it's a bit weird to apply it but it doesn't bother me because i do really like this i watched a video that kathleen lights did this morning reviewing the dewy version of this and she said that this one um itself so not the dewy one but this one is one of her favorites and it is a really good one and i agree with her it applies really nicely it's so, sort of like smoothed out on the skin and it just lasts all day long and my skin doesn't kind of get oily i just love this i really really do and i would highly recommend it and i am going to be repurchasing this because it is only five pounds something i am doing a full day wear test video um which will go up next week using this so stay tuned for that because i really wanted to film that video and finally in the makeup category we have a pressed glitter palette now you probably haven't noticed but i do have glitter on my eyes and this is something that i like to do when i've got a load of time maybe i'm going out for drinks or i'm going out or i'm filming a video not for going to the shop or going to uni like it's a bit much for that um but this is what it looks like it is by the brand beauty glazed and literally it's just pure glitter in each one there's so many different colors the one that i used on my eyes today is this one in the corner here but it's just a really beautiful palette and 
I think it's definitely one of those kind of staple palettes that you should have if you're really into makeup because you could literally just use any colour that you want like you're completely sorted for glitter eyeshadows and it's just one of those things that I think everyone should have so yeah really like this quality is nice and it wasn't too expensive either and I think I did actually get this off Amazon as well and it's cruelty free so that's always good but yeah it's just so nice to have glitter sometimes especially on a night out it can just kind of glam up your entire look so next we have like random miscellaneous items slash some fashiony bits in a minute but random miscellaneous items we have a hairbrush now that is very random and it is very miscellaneous because it's a hairbrush. I should have probably cleaned this or removed all the hair from it before this video, but I haven't, so I am sorry. But this is by the brand The Knot Doctor. Now they contacted me months and months and months ago and said that they would send me a hairbrush to review in a video. Now I am quite bad, I have been quite bad and I haven't filmed that video yet because I've been so busy and also because I'm only prioritizing videos that I'm being paid to do now because of lack of time. I do or would have got sent a lot of stuff so now I'm saying I'm, I'm afraid I can only work with you if it's a sponsored video so unfortunately I've kind of delayed this a little bit but it's got its little mention in this video it is 100% the best hairbrush I've ever tried and I am um, this video is not in collaboration with them because they just sent me this but I love it I really 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 love it they did actually leave me a little note they said Dear Georgie, I hope you love your brush. Please get in touch once you receive this. We look forward to working with you. So I'm afraid, I am very sorry. I've only just posted this, but I do really love the brush. And I kept all the packaging and everything because I did want to do this video. You know, you'll see this brush in tutorials, get ready with me's because it's amazing. I used an old hairbrush um, a little while ago and it, I felt like I was literally just like pulling my hair out. This brush is so soft, like it literally just glides through the hair. Like, oh my God, it's so, so, so nice. My hair is so long, it can get really knotty and I need stuff like that. So yeah, this is the Pro Bright, the Hybrid Detangler by The Knot Doctor. It is amazing and they do it and they have loads of different colours as well. I just love the whole brand and I would highly recommend. I will link their website down in the description. I'm sorry that it's taken me this long to post this video. Um, but yeah, I have been a little bit of a busy bee, so that's probably why. Right, the next one. Now, I'm probably going to sound quite enthusiastic about this one because this is probably my favourite product of this whole video. Product? My favourite thing of this whole video. This is a book. So this is the book by written by um, Anna. So she is, her YouTube channel is called The Anna Edit. I did briefly mention it in a vlog a few days ago that I posted last week but this is all about organisation. I am heavily into organisation, it's what makes me happy, it's what kind of runs my life. I have a to-do list, I have a schedule and I stick to it. Everything that I eat in the day is also kind of planned out, scheduled, you know, organised. Everything that I do is, maybe my flat is not tidy but that does not mean that in my head I'm not organised. Like I I, ha I just love organisation and she's got so many different categories in this book to do with like fashion and organising your wardrobe, to do with cooking, to do with managing, you know, meal prepping, your finances. She's got a really good section in this book about finances and that was very interesting. Obviously I am doing accounting and finance so that is definitely something that I was kind of more interested in. But yeah, the book is called An Edited Life and it says simple steps to streamlining your life at work and at home. She is very similar to me when it comes to organisation and just thriving off it. I wouldn't say that I've always been the most organised person, but that doesn't mean that I've not wanted to be because I know it makes me so happy. Um, so I would highly recommend this book. I haven't finished it yet. I'm kind of like... A third of the way through I'm not wanting to read it too much because I don't want to waste it like honestly I could just sit down and read this all in one go because I really love it but I did get this for my birthday from my mum thank you mum so yeah big 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 winner for this month okay two fashion favorites so we won't ramble on too much the first one are these leggings so these are from is it Ayuga? I'm not sure because my mum bought these. Um, but this is what the brand's called, like there. These are really good 
quality pair of sports leggings. I'm wearing the black pair now that I also got. Oh yeah, I've got makeup on my hand, I do apologise. Um, but they're just so nice, thick, good quality and they're definitely worth the money in terms of like how comfortable they feel. And when I'm working out in them, it just makes me put extra F in. I don't know why, so I love these. And then finally, I have this scarf, which I got for Christmas. And I really love it. I think it's a nice um, scarf. It's literally just from Primark and it's just so soft and just so comfortable. Like honestly, I literally wear it all the time when I'm out. So yeah, I love this one. I have a few other scarves as well that I mix between, um, but I do particularly love this one at the minute. Okay, so I think that's everything for like tangible items. There is probably some food favourites that I've got because I have actually started a fitness plan. I am going to do a whole video. Oops, I just kicked my mini mask. I have um, started Alexandra Louise's from Love Island's fitness plan. I did pay to do that. I just wanted to get a little bit healthier. I wanted to understand like what I'm eating a little bit more and I'm obsessed with it. I really love it and I'm, you know, doing really well with it. So I am going to do a whole video on that, but I'm really glad that I did this that this month also starting up my skincare brand as well that's a really good favorite of the month of mine um it's quite hard work in terms of i having to juggle youtube uni everything like there's just so much going on but i am really excited for that and any more favorites i probably have loads of favorites you know in terms of like things i've done but obviously i've just been at uni mainly so there's not really there's not a university favourite, unfortunately. But yeah, that is my favourites for this month. I would say overall, my main favourite is this book for definite. And also I do really, really, really love the foundation as well. So that is, oh, I've just remembered. I was gonna put this in as a favourite. I might skip this back into the video. Um, but this is the Model Co clear brow gel i love it it's literally changed my eyebrows like i would always do my eyebrows and then i'd put a hoodie on and my eyebrow would like swipe off but with this it does not do that so i love this brow gel but yeah so that is everything for this video hopefully you enjoyed indeed i hope you enjoyed watching this video please give it a thumbs up if you did and please subscribe for more content on my channel i've planned out all of february's videos i'm really excited for them so i will see you in my next video goodbye